If you are like most business owners, you want business results and fast. Now, that's fine. And Chet Holmes in his book um, shared some research that at any one time, there's only between three and seven percent of people who are ready to buy, which means there's a huge 93 percent of people that we need to think about how we market to so that when they are ready to buy, they work with you and your business. And that is the subject of today's video. Hi, this is Sharon Newey from Superfast Recruitment. And it's right that business owners want immediate results. What's not right though, is when you appreciate that at any one time, there is literally between three and 7% of people who are ready to actually invest and buy your services. So if you're thinking about you know, scaling a recruitment company, you can't possibly expect to do that when you focus your marketing solely on that three to seven percent. And yet, sadly, that is what some business owners do because they don't have a multitude of strategies to target the other 93 percent. Now, let's be straight. There are strategies that you can use that focus on that three to seven percent because, you know, you do want immediate results. However, what I'd encourage you to do is start to think about how your marketing addresses the 93%. And this is where the buying cycle comes in. Because you want to have marketing strategies that creates awareness of your business. So if people don't know about you, when they go looking for you, they can find you on social media. They can find great value added content on their website. You've got strategies to keep in touch with them. Now, as they get to a point where they are thinking about, you know, bringing in some temporary workers, about filling some critical permanent roles that they've got, that they want to start engaging with a recruitment company. Maybe they haven't used recruiters before. Maybe they've been dissatisfied with another recruitment company and they're looking for somebody new. So they're starting to go out looking for what kind of specialist recruitment company can they partner with. It's no different, is it, than if you are thinking about investing thousands in a new kitchen or you're investing in a car. You don't just go and make a snap 30, 40, 50,000 pound purchase unless, of course, you've got that winning lottery ticket. You do your research and you think about what car do you want? You think about what kind of kitchen do you want? What kind of company do you want to work with to install that new kitchen? And then at some point you get to that point where you're ready to make a decision and you then go and you engage. Well, you know, your clients are no different. They're going to go and do their research, check you out, look at, um, you know, different reviews about, you know, good, and not so good recruitment companies. And then when they are ready to start working with you, they will get in touch. They'll have some conversations. Now, you want to make sure that the different marketing activities that you are doing are nurturing people through that journey of being aware from, of you and your business, considering you know, who you are, what do you do, should they work with you versus somebody else, and through to that decision-making process. And there are specific marketing strategies that tie directly into those three levels. So when you're reviewing your marketing and you are thinking about up leveling your marketing in order to get your business, you know, in front of the right clients and the right candidates right now, make sure that you've got strategies that meet awareness, consideration and decision. And you will get business today from those strategies that will accommodate the three to seven percent. But you will also make sure that you're getting constant flow of leads of people when they are ready to buy and engage with you. So the buying cycle, does your marketing meet all the different stages of it? That's Sharon Newick from Superfast Recruitment.